for visit. So my my official visit went great. You know, get you know this whole, my whole time. You know, came back. You know, just feel like home. You know, I got to see. I was chilling with uh, Pat Payne. He was telling me about the progress when he came here. Like how all the weight he had the gain came in like 200 pounds. He was talking about like the strength and condition coach, how he put on the weight and stuff, and like you know how he came here and developed and like learned the system. Did you have a chance to meet Coach Storms, the strength and conditioning coach? And if so, what did you take away from that conversation? So um, basically, like, so when we went inside the um, weight room, he was just showing us, showing me like some pictures, like, like when they came in, like their freshman year, and then what they look like now, and, like how the like weight room is very serious, and like how you put put on like a lot of weight on you and stuff. So that's pretty much it. For a guy like you, what did you take away from that? Obviously, you want to play in the pros. You know, you got to get bigger in the collegiate right. game. What did you take from that experience? So basically, I took like cause, like some people like they came down like the late June and stuff like that. So I'm actually graduating early, so I'm trying to get in like fit in the system. You know, pack, pack on weight and like just learn the system and like learn the plays fast. You know, trying to see the field more. But you said coming in to visit. Um, yes, there are obviously a few other schools that are trying to flip you, but where are things at right now? Oh, well, everything. Actually, we, we were just talking about that. So after this visit, I'm sending down my recruitment. I'm just sticking with Florida State. Yeah, so that means no more visits. No more, no more visits. Yeah. Yeah. What does that feel like, just to know that? It, it feels great. Like you know, you know, I could have went to like any school in the world, but you know, here it always felt home. Like ever since like I came to my sophomore year, like day one, it just felt like the place for me. I love the defensive scheme that they run and everything. You know they. We got first rounders and everything in my position. So, did you so, tell Coach Moore about that just now? Yes, sir. What was his reaction? Now he was like, he was like, oh yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was good. Yeah. How, how glad are you that you went through the process, checked out other places, yes, collected sir. information, and still ended up back where you had committed to previously? I mean, the progress really felt great. You know, it was kind of slow at first, like my sophomore year, but you know, I always came here and stuff. Like, I really, I really don't see myself going out of town. Like, I just felt like I always would stay in Florida, and then I feel like this is the best team in Florida, so that's why I decided to stay here. Is there like a sign of relief that you finally made your decision and you can just focus on oh, yeah. the one school and finishing off your um your senior season? Yes, sir. It's, it's definitely a big. They come here sometimes at night. I was like kind of stressed, like what like school I would go to and all the other stuff. But here, like cause here they see me as a true defensive end, and like other schools see me as an outside linebacker jumping to the flat. But I don't want to do that. Like my goal is like I like to get up field, start to run and stuff. So that's the same thing I do at a high school level. So we run the same defense like at my school. So that's why I chose it. And I love the coaches. Stuff like that. You, you don't really see a head coach that be like hype like that at other universities and stuff like that. that we be screaming early in the morning. <laughs> it seems like the biggest trend right now that everyone that we ask about Novell is his energy. Is yeah, sir, I love, love Coach Novell energy. Coach now. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a chance to meet and talk with Pat Payton during the visit? I know you've talked to him previously, but did you really spend time with him this time around? I spent time with him like when I it was a Saturday when I when I got here and stuff. Yeah, I spent time with him. He was just pretty telling me like he was like, man, you next. Just keep keep working and just staying dedicated and like you gotta love the weight room and put on some more weight and then just stay consistent like working and just, like don't sleep. Just keep working. He, just told me. he walked in here about 200. He's now 250 these yes, days. Sir. He's viewed as an NFL prospect. What did he tell you about that process? What he's taken from this place and just what this place has given him? Right. So he told me like when he first came, he wasn't really taking the weight room serious and stuff like that. But you know, him looking up the verse and you know, verse kind of like motivated him like to like tighten up and like get in the weight room. And, you know, they will stay after in the facility like working, working yeah. hands and just working in the weight room. And then you know, he just started taking it serious and you know, you see where it led to him now.